Hello, today is March 5th and time for the next update. Anyway, today I am attempting to mix hydropod hydroponic solutions. So I started out with this, this mixing chart. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use exactly. So instead of starting with the seedlings, I started with their early growth and I figured I could dilute it if I needed to. So um, this is the first time I've ever done it. So hopefully it works out okay. First thing I started was do, to do my pH, which it was definitely on the basic side. So I got it down between five and six. And I did that by, this is the testing solution. So I got a little, that little vial back there and I filled it up halfway with water and then made it down to it was a yellow and then kept adding a couple of drops of this pH down, which I only added a couple of drops this whole gallon. And then put in a little bit of this pH stuff to see what it is. And it needs to be between a yellow and an orange to be right. Okay, and then after that, I started out with my CalMax, which everyone says to add that first before you do anything else. And then you're also supposed to do the floral mix uh, before you do the other floral bloom and floral grows. And um, yeah, that's the Fluoro, Flora series from General Hydroponics. And then the other ones I added were this Floralicious Plus and this rapid start. And I just used this little thing that measures out one milliliter at a time to make that one gallon of stuff. So hopefully everything works out. Okay, next a little update on this pepper. Um, this is the mustard habanero, which is, I've never seen a mustard, I mean, I've never seen a, a pepper do this before. It's not growing up, it's just growing out. So it's super big. Uh, the basil is finally starting to do something. I don't remember what kind of pepper that is. Uh, anyway. Then the thyme is doing well, obviously, and the oregano... Let's see, it. no, the bait... What is that stuff? I don't remember. But I took cutting of it. It needs to be chopped down a little bit, but it's doing fairly well. Probably will transplant both of those peppers into out of here soon. Okay, moving over to the others. Okay, mom needed one of the big pots, so we went ahead and killed off the the sick pepper plant that has been sick since well before this series started. So, yeah, Shishito's doing well. I got this one weird pepper that's about twice as thick as anything else that this plant has made. It's still not huge, but I've gotten a decent number of peppers off this this winter. And there's that decorative aura pepper. There's the shishito, which is going to get topped really soon. This one is the mystery pepper from Athens. My kale, doing reasonably well. Basil, looking kind of sad. Whatever. One of those is the Carolina Reaper, I think. I think this one. It's hard to, t it's, it's not. I have, you know, just LED bulbs in the ceiling above us and it's not super light colored light. Well, it's a little lighter than the others, but it's not nearly as light as it could be, as it looks in this camera. And this is that Bonita, the, the little funny raindrop shaped ones that also doing well. And yeah, that other mystery pepper. I'm still doing well. Okay. Have a good day, everyone.